Hello there, Titans. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a multi-page project or a portal in Titan Web. Now, today's portal will be a public portal. All of the data or information that we'll display on our portal will be public data or non-sensitive data. We don't care who accesses our URL. Everyone will be able to see the same data here. In a future video, we'll talk about securing our portal and how to create logins and different ways of securing our portal so that when our user comes in, they're seeing specific data that's relevant to them instead of public data for everyone. Today, we'll show how to build multiple pages on your portal. We'll talk about navigation between the pages, adding headers and footers to your portal. Let's get started. So, First thing I'm going to do is create a about us or a home page for our portal. So I'm just going to grab an auto fit container, make that a bit bigger, and I'll also just grab title text. Let's just say about us, and this will just be the example of our home page. I'll grab a paragraph as well, and let's actually center this. Excellent, and we'll just add some text into here. Great. Excellent. Now, here's the general about us. Some data, we can obviously style this however we like. I'm not gonna focus too much on that today, but let's just give this a color. Excellent. Now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another page to my project. So I'll click on the pages tab on the top and I'll click on add new page. It'll ask me if I want to save the data that I've just created on my first page and I'll go ahead and save that. And now I have the option of either choosing from some templates of pages or pages from different projects. Keep in mind, if you want to reuse pages from other projects or even pages from the project that you're currently on, you can duplicate these pages by clicking on a specific project, clicking on the page, and duplicating that page. Today, we'll just create a blank page. And for this page, I'm going to go ahead and add um, details about the staff for our uh, fictitious company over here. I'll go ahead and click the plus button here. And I'm going to grab a component that I've set up in the past here just to make this a little bit faster. And I'm going to go ahead and put this auto fit container over here. And I'm going to make this a repeat column. All right. And what I'm going to do here is just display um, a few, the name of a music teacher and a picture of that music teacher here for our music teacher portal that I'm creating. I'll head over to Salesforce, and I've already got this get set up. I'm just saying that I want to bring in a music teacher type of contact. And now I just got to go ahead and map my fields. Let's find, we'll go to my specific page here so we can find the right elements. And for subhead, I'm just going to do full name. All right, and for the image, I'm going to go ahead and grab the picture that I have for these teacher profiles, and again, you can use any um, object. In this case, I'm using contact, but this can be using custom objects, using standard objects, manage pa package objects, anything at all. And I'm actually going to change my get to a user action that I'm going to trigger on this specific page load. And I'll show you that in a moment. We'll go ahead and click apply. And I'm going to come over here to the page actions, and you'll notice I have my home page and I have my page two, which we haven't named quite yet, but we'll get there in a moment. I'm going to click on the three dots, and I'm going to click on configure actions. And these will be the actions that I'm running on this specific page in my project. Now, I've got a lot of actions here. Um, we'll talk about them very briefly. First of all, we have first time actions, every time actions. These are actions that will either run the first time that I access this page or every time that I access this page. And when I say the first time or every time, I mean per session of the user. I do not mean that the first time that you ever access this page, but 
the first time that I come in, I go to the home page, I go to page two, the action will run. If I go back to the home page and then back to page two, if I wrote that action on first time, it would only run the first time I access page two. But if I write it on every time, each time I go back to page two, this action will run. So let's write this on our every time actions. I'll go ahead and click the plus and I'm gonna run a Salesforce action and I'm gonna run our get to bring in our teacher profiles. And I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Before I do, I'll just quickly run through the rest of the possibilities here. You can write conditions that are only relevant to your page, system variables, static variables, and we'll talk about variables in a different video, um, including formula fields as well. But just as a general best practice, it's best to write these actions and conditions on the page level instead of on the project level so that your project runs in an optimal way. All right, so I've got my every time action configured for this page. And I'm going to go ahead and set up one last page. And this will be our contact us page. So I'm just going to grab another component that I have pre-prepared here. Bring this in here. Let's just center it. You can move this a bit up. Nice. And I'll go ahead and save. Now, the next thing I want to do is name my pages. I'll show you how we can do that. I'm going to come over here and name page two teacher profiles. And I'll come to page three, click on the three dots, and I'll name this page contact us. Now let's talk about navigating between our pages. Now the easiest way to navigate between our pages is going to be setting up a header. I'll go ahead to manage menus. I'll click on the gear icon and I'll write include a header. You'll notice I have a header with all of the names of my different pages here. I'll just show you that we can do a number of things here including renaming Now I've renamed our page here. And as you can see, our teachers appears in the header. And we'll leave the rest the same. You know what, let's change this to about us. Excellent. And there's a number of different things that we can do here with the headers and footers. We'll leave that for a different video. Let's just add a footer as well. And these headers and footers will exist on all of our pages. We can decide to only have it on some of our pages. In our case, we'll just keep it on all of our pages. And I'll go ahead and click X. Here's my footer. I'm just going to throw some basic details in there about my company, some links to our various social media, for example. And let's go ahead and center that. And we'll stick it to the top. Okay, excellent. All right, so that's one way that we can navigate is using our header and you'll see that now, let's say we start at our home page, we'll save between our pages. Notice that now I can navigate between my different pages very easily. Okay. And I'll show you one more way that we can navigate between our pages. Let's go ahead and add a button on this new strip here. And we'll say, learn about our teachers. Let's make the button a bit bigger, perhaps. Excellent. Great. And now we're going to add an action on this button. And the action that we're going to add is a redirect action. Now we can redirect to an external site or to an internal page on our portal. I'm going to redirect to our teacher profile just as an example. We can open this as 
its own page, as a blank separate page, um, as a modal. We have many options here. We're just going to leave it in self. And also note, and we'll learn more about this when we talk about variables in a different video, we can pass values between our pages in Titan Web by setting parameters and sending values to parameters on the page that we're redirecting to. Now, in our case, we're not going to, going to do that. But keep in mind that if we want to bring variables from page to page in Titan Web, we can do this during the redirect process. All right, let's click Next and say, go to Teacher Profiles, and we'll insert, apply, and save. So now let's take a look. We'll go ahead and preview. And you can see that when I click on our button, this will redirect us to the Our Teacher page in the same way that the header was able to redirect us to that page. So I can navigate either using the header or by using on-click actions, conditions, really anything that can trigger an action uh, that can then redirect us to the page that we would like. All right, and that's how you build a simple multi-page project or multi-page portal in Titan Web. Of course, all this data is public, data that anyone can see, that anyone can use. In a future video, we'll also show you how you can use a secure portal that will require login and show some more sensitive details and allow the details to be relevant to the user who is logging in. Thanks and enjoy.